Hey everybody, this is the new Barton Musical Circuits Multi PWM module. Uh, I wanted to give you a little overview of the module and then uh, show you the oscilloscope and let you see visually what it's doing. Um, so, uh, this has four knobs to it. It's a high and low control and then CV that modulates the high and low. Uh, so the way this module works is there's a bank of uh, seven comparators that the same signal goes into all seven of them. Uh, and this controls the, the highest one and the lowest one's threshold voltage. And then the ones in the middle are a mixture of these two voltages. Um, so what you get when you do that is like kind of a stair-stepped um, looking waveform. So it's, it's a bunch of PWM circuits in parallel with each other with the two controls that control all seven of them. Uh, and then, uh, so down here we have the two CV inputs. I already have this kind of patched up. Um, there's a picture of it on the website if you want to see it without jacks in front. Uh, and then our uh, signal input is this blue wire. And then it has three outputs uh, that each output is a mixture of a different number of the comparators. So you get different uh, numbers of steps in the stepped waveform. And then I, I took the outputs and just sent it to my, uh, my router module uh, so I wouldn't have to be patching and unpatching as much during the video. Um, but yeah, it's 6 HP, uh, it's just op amps and resistors in the module itself, so pretty cheap and easy to build, uh, and shouldn't, there's no calibration or anything whenever you're building it. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, move the camera over to the oscilloscope, and I will get it going for you. Alright, so, this is our, uh, base triangle wave that we're using as our input, and let me turn up the volume just a little bit. And then this is it with an eight step stair step. And you can see me adjusting the, the high and low there. And then, um, I don't know why that's so shaky. That's odd. Uh, and then this is it with a five step output. Finally, with a three step output. Uh, and then this is adding some uh, uh, LFOs to the high and low. So you can get it so it's like kind of changing between these more triangular patterns, these more squarish patterns. We do that. has been uh, putting a VCA in front of it and you get some interesting uh, timbral stuff with that. three-step output and I had to make a couple adjustments to let it last longer. Um, and then I also just wanted to show you uh, 
uh, what it looks like with a ramp instead of a triangle. And here's a sine wave, which you don't see too much difference between that and the, uh, the triangle. Um, but yeah, this is uh, basically what this does. Uh, thank you for watching, and there should be a link in the description on uh, to my website where you can download the PDF documentation. And uh, I also have some uh, uh, MP3 recordings of uh, these same three patches that I just showed you. Um, so uh, thank you for watching.